All right, today we're gonna learn how to paint this abstract painting called Architectural Abstraction Style. All right, so the question of the day is, what is suprematism? All right, let's run through the colors. Orange black, titanium white, copper, twin orange, twin red, cad red, ultramarine blue, twin blue, turquoise phthalo, phthalo green. I think I'm gonna add maybe a baby blue and add that on there, um, or maybe a dark blue. We'll see. All right, for this layer, we're gonna kind of add a yellow green layer here to kind of pop on top of this and contrast these three layers. We'll see how this develops. For this layer, I think we're gonna add a kind of a darker color, maybe um, an off black, uh, pure black or off black, and then cut this down and then add some white and then start adding more color. So suprematism is this art form that formed in 1915, about right after the Blue Rider movement. It was formed by two uh, Russians, basically, Malevich and Ledzitsky. Um, more or less, they were kind of stripping away the bourgeoisie art elements that were in Russia, also Europe, of course. And they came to this pure geometric form devoid of religion, and you know, just pure geometry, poor to say. And later they kind of moved that into um, kind of one of the art forms of the Soviet Union when it formed, and then went back. And it went up you know, through the 20s, and at the same time it was competing with constructivism, which is kind of seen as the opposite, but they're very similar in fact. Um, it's hard to distinguish nowadays. Uh, both those movements are kind of crushed once Stalin came to power later in the 30s, and he just switched everything to socialist realism and all the modern avant-garde art forms were seen as bourgeoisie, ironically enough, even though they were anti-bourgeoisie, but by Stalin they were, he brought it back to socialist realism, or introduced it per se, but it's really just realism, you know, with these blocky, chunky forms, kind of like how Picasso painted after Cubism. Um, and, yeah, so that art form only lived a short time from 15 to the mid 20s into the, right in the 30s. And unfortunately the Russian artists that stayed behind in the Soviet Union, that weren't smart enough to get the hell out. Um, a lot of them ended up in Stalin's purges or in the gulag. So <laughs> definitely not a good way to end as an artist. Or some of them even committed suicide because it was, if someone tells you you can't paint how you want to paint, that's kind of really drastic, but that's how, um, how much totalitarianism there was under Stalin. So that's the question of the day. All right, we just finished the painting. Let's take a closer look. So we have this kind of really nice rose to orange. Um, I've laid in the kind of that black layer. 
with the yellow that pops. It's supposed to have a little green, but it looks pure yellow to me. Um, we have these greens, a little bit of splash there with the white splash. Um, we have the yellow highlight and a black line. Yeah, I was gonna work this a little more, but then I'm kind of like, I think it's done. Um, has enough variety of colors, enough um, back and forth action. You could add more and make it way more complex, but I think for me, it's good enough. Uh, there could be more, you could play around a little bit more with the shape, but I kind of like as is. Um, I think maybe at the top when I did the black line, I should have left maybe a little bit of line for that orange to pop through in a second layer. Um, I think overall it's pretty good. It has a lot of variety of colors, uh, so to say, a lot of bright colors, so that's always successful, I think, as far as, you know, really appealing to the buyer. Um, has a lot of action, draws the eye all the way through the painting. Uh, the corner and the bottom with the blue triangle, it could add a little more drama to kind of pull more attention there. Um, but yeah, again, it just feels already really busy and it just feels like enough for this size of painting. I think once you get to the bigger, large scale, like the 4x4 or even larger, it, the style works a lot better. Somehow at the smaller scale, it doesn't quite work um, as well as it does in the large scale. Maybe it's just, I'm used to painting this style at a much larger um, scale, so when I scale it down, it doesn't feel right to me. I think on the wood panel it works really when I, when I go to a smaller scale, but this medium scale, I think there's a 16 by 20. Um, I just haven't painted that many paintings of this style of this size, so it's not really my favorite size for this uh, particular style. Um, yeah, I think next probably I'll do Metal Mayhem maybe. I think that works better at this style where you kind of have, it's small enough, but it looks dramatic enough. Uh, that style works a lot better, I think, than this style does at this size. So. Overall, I think it's a good painting. Um, hopefully you guys like it, give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, you can subscribe below. And I'll see you in the next painting review, or in the next painting video. See you guys, thanks for watching.